All right, what's next? Next is the SATs. Okay. I have been studying one hour per day, and also I signed up for the next two SATs, one on May 8th, 2021, and the next on June 5th. Okay, perfect. And then the other one was run, running. Okay, real quick, let's go to SAT. I want you to look into uh, Kaplan. I think it's, no, it, not Kaplan. Um, the, the, there's two SAT prep cor courses, Princeton Review, and there's another one. Um, College Board? Uh, it might be. Don't, like, I wouldn't be against you taking one of those classes. Yes, sir. Right? They're a little bit expensive, maybe like $1,200. Um, I'll tell you this, my guy taught for, I think it's Kaplan. He taught for the GMAT prep course. And he was like, Jake, there is a lot of positives to taking the class. Okay. I just studied three and a half hours a day. And I had a computer program on my old Apple IIe. And it didn't work out well for me. You know, I could never, I could never get the 450 English I needed to be able to get an ROTC scholarship. So I, that class probably would have helped me a lot. I know it would have helped me on the GMAT because I got statistics questions. I didn't do great on the math section after getting 99s on most of the time I took. So, <clears throat> okay. All right, what's next? Um, the next is running, sir. Yep. Uh, I've been running every day. I try to. Okay. How's that going? It's going, it's going good, sir. Uh, I believe my mile time is around eight minutes. I haven't That's been fast. Nope. I'm not worried about your mile time. I just want you to get some physical running in. Yes, sir. How, how many miles a week? Um, around 10, sir. Okay, that's fine. And the next is service academies and colleges to apply to. Service academies and colleges to apply to. Okay, elaborate on that one a little bit. What did I tell you to do? You told me to look at the com. Uh, not sorry, sorry, not the common app. The um, the essays. Okay, but did you? I told you that you needed to apply to West Point and the Air Force Academy too, right? Yes, sir. Okay, did you get that done? The application. Like started, open the application at both of those places. Uh, I started a. Um, a login at the Air Force Academy, sir. Okay. What about West Point? I have not started that yet, sir. Okay. Why? Why are you telling me you haven't done something? What um, What time you get up this morning, Laura? Seven a.m., sir. And what'd you do at seven a.m.? Um, I got dressed and then I reviewed my plan. Okay. Could you have gotten up at six and got everything done on that list? Yes, sir. I could have. Okay, so let's next time let's not let's not let something like that come up. Yes, sir. Because that's not something hard, right? Yes, sir. And, and six a.m. versus seven a.m. isn't that big a deal. No, sir, it is not. Okay. Remember what I told you, right? I'm not gonna ask you to do no BS. They look at they look to see if you applied to West Point and Naval Academy or Air Force Academy. They can see that on their system. If you only apply to the Naval Academy, they're like, ah, she's not real serious about going to a service academy. Yes, okay. sir. All right. What's next? Um, I looked at... All right, essays. We're on essays for the... Did you get, get your hands on the essays? Yes, sir, I did. Okay, good. All right. You already know what you got to do with them, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. And then recommendations letter. Yep. Okay letters um i am pursuing one of my teachers okay to give me a recommendation letter i have put together a resume have you written their recommendation yet no not yet sir okay so are we gonna are we gonna pursue them writing a recommendation before we hand them a recommendation no sir i'm gonna write a recommendation and give it to them perfect do you know how to write a recommendation Yes, sir. It has to encompass leadership, teamwork, and levels of achievement. Okay. What I'm saying to you is if you Google uh, letters for dummies, you can you can cut a really good letter of recommendation out of there. Yes, sir. You know, I can't read and write, so I, I know all the shortcuts for finding really good writing stuff. 
And you might even just Google nowadays, you might even just Google uh, amazing letter of recommendation for Service Academy and see what comes up. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, I'm on my phone. Go ahead. And the next one was to make a plan. Okay. Uh, my plan is I am giving All right, up. Real, real quick, let's, 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 come, let's leave the plan for last. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. The nominations. Okay, what'd you find out there? Um, I have researched my congressional district. I'm yep. the congressional district. It's John Reed and Sheldon Whitehouse, and my representative is James Langevin. Okay, those are your two senators and your representative? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Do you have any female state senators? No, sir. Okay. You have any, uh, well, yeah, all right, that's fine. Go ahead. Um, there's a presidential and vice presidential nomination. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That I will be applying to. Absolutely. And I have to send in a letter by June or starting June 1st. Send a letter to who? Uh, not a letter, an application, sir. Okay, so all the applications are, whose application is due June 1st? Um, it is the presidential nomination, I believe. Okay, so when do you need to have that done? Before June 1st. Okay, what's before June 1st in my book? Now. Now. Yes, sir. See what I'm talking about? Like, you need these letters of recommendation now. Like, we're already April 3rd, and we need letters of recommendation now. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. Should I write letters to the senators and congressmen? I would write letters, and then I would make sure you – did I tell you to go on their uh, websites and see when their next service academy stuff was? So they're all having service academy Zooms. Okay. But the other thing I would do is I would try to see who's on his staff and I may befriend one of the people on his staff or you, is it both men? Yes, sir. Okay. All three of them are men? Yes, sir. Okay. So I would, I would figure out who's on their staff. There'll probably be a junior person that handles and I would make sure that I develop a relationship with them. Yes, sir. Okay. So there's a bunch of letters. Um, there's a bunch of examples of military, like service uh, letters of recommendation. I would just cut and paste one of them and then rewrite it for you. Yes, don't, sir. Don't reinvent the wheel. Okay. It needs to be a page long, roughly, right? It can't be two sentences unless you're a four-star admiral. Well, my, mine was one paragraph. Jake is an outstanding black man. Next paragraph, but it was written by a four-star admiral, so it worked. Okay, go ahead. And you also asked me about sending the VA letter. I just, yeah, so you got to figure that out, right? Call the Naval Academy, because we want to make sure they know that now. Yes, sir. Okay. Should I call West Point and the Air Force Academy as well about that? Absolutely. You, you shouldn't even have had to ask that question. Yes, sir. Hey, Tom. Yes. Hey, you guys got a uh, thrift store or something like that up there? Like an on-base thrift store? Uh, for what? So we need to get her, like, a, a button-down shirt and a pair of pants and a belt so that you can get walk her through, like, general movements, like right face, left face, about face, and uniform inspection. So that when she goes to summer seminar, she just lays fire down there. Sir, seminar is online. It's online? Yes, sir. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, okay, don't worry about that then. We'll worry about that when you get accepted. Okay, yes. put that on the back burner. Okay, real quick. Are you going to go to summer seminar online in a t-shirt? No, sir. Okay, good. What are you wearing right now? 
a black shirt, sir. Okay. No, I'm just saying it looks fine. We just got to make all of that stuff counts. Yes, sir. You're trying to go to one of the most pretentious schools in the country. They looking at all of that stuff. Yes, sir. Okay. Like I'm going to have my hair pulled back in a ponytail in the back. Whatever the standard is, I'm having, I'm going to look great every time I get in front of that camera for summer seminar. And I'm going to make sure I'm prepared for whatever we're doing that day. All right. All right.